Today we're going to be talking about seven ways to start a conversation. Hello everybody, welcome to yet another amazing and exciting episode of FYI with Crystal. It's common knowledge that with social media right now, people hardly know how to even talk. Everybody's busy with their phones and their gadgets, you know. When they're with their phones, they turn to terrorists. But when they see you one-on-one, -on -one, they hardly even know how to say, hey, terrible. So that's one of the things we're going to be addressing today. So we're going to give seven pointers as to how to effectively start a conversation. Maybe somebody you've been dying to meet or perhaps someone you have a little crush on or something, whatever. Just follow these guides and you'll be right on your way to have a conversation and sue between you and whoever else the other person is. Number one, start with a compliment. With a compliment, you never can go wrong. People love compliments. Talk about how the person looks. How the, what the outfit the person has on, maybe the shoes or the belt, or maybe how the person smells. But let me just make something clear here. If you're a guy and you want to talk, compliment a woman, be careful not to compliment her body type. Some people are a bit sensitive and they don't take, take it for granted when you talk about their body type. Some people might mistake it as you being, you know, malicious towards them or probably body shaming them. And you don't want to do that, not at all. But with a compliment, you never can go wrong. Number two, talk about the weather. There's always something about the weather. It's either, it's either too hot or too cold or too humid or too dry or too something. The weather is always going to be the weather. Always start, you could start a conversation with that. Talk about how the weather is having a crazy effect on you or something and the conversation will ensue right from there. Number three, open with a joke. Please note, this particular point is not for the faint-hearted. If you know that all the jokes you have in your archives are grandpapa jokes, please save them. We don't want to hear no grandfather jokes. But if you feel you can, you know, crack up something that could, you know, that could, you know, bring up a smile or a little chuckle here and there, please, by all means, start with a joke. People are always endeared to people who have a lot of hilarious nature in them. Super fun to do all the time. Number four, inquire about food and wine. Food and wine is something that's always going to be in vogue. It never gets out of style. People eat every day. People love to drink wine. So talk about food. Talk about wine. Ask what the person fancies. And you know, you never could tell if both of you are like in sync or in tune. It's a whole nother game, okay? And you're ready to just roll. Number five, ask for a favor. There are lots of favors you could ask somebody. Maybe a direction to a place or maybe how to navigate or maybe what turn to take or maybe color separation or something like that always ask for a favor anybody who is polite enough would answer and once the person answers most likely a conversation will ensue number six you could simply ask for the person's opinion on something yeah for instance now you could talk about coronavirus or whatever it is that's presently trending in the world and say, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about, you know, the people affected? What do you think the government can do about it? Always ask about the person's opinion. It's always a good way to start a conversation. Number seven, the last but not the least, employ the situation at hand. Let's say, for instance, you're at a, you're at a park or you're in a park rather, and then maybe you see a baby crying you could not be like oh this baby is so cute beautiful eyes babies are always endearing to people once you start off with something like that you're bound to get a reaction from this person you've been wanting to talk to and a conversation ensues very simple right are you gonna try it i bet you're gonna do so start from today give it a try start a conversation remember by all means a mouth that doesn't get open misses a lot of opportunities so you want to open your mouth say hey to that person say hi to that guy or to that girl and you never know what might lead to what it might lead to pardon me all right so that has been the episode for today seven ways to start a conversation thank you so much for watching remember to follow me on all my handles they're spread across the screen follow me subscribe on my youtube channel is fyi underscore crystal remember to comment share like and then if you want to be notified of when new videos are going to drop hit the notification button right down below thank you so much for watching remember today make somebody smile because it doesn't cost you anything i love you for watching many blessings